if we are really going to get in a Stargate straight to cinema movie, it's got to be a Ronan Dex movie, damn it. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So the rumours are consistently now for nearly a year that we're going to be getting a Stargate straight to cinema movie. Now, we have discussed this on this channel many times, and we've basically said that is a massive risk. The real problem is that if that movie doesn't make its money back, if it's a massive flop, and let's be honest, with the cinema recently, we never know what film is going to succeed and what isn't. It's just, it's a crapshoot, it really is. But if that movie does fail and does flop, it'll kill the franchise before it even gets restarted. And we desperately want a franchise. We want TV shows. We want prequels maybe and don't forget i hate prequels and even i think that would work in the stargate franchise universe and we want movies but we really really want tv series that's what we really really want so how do you do a cinematic movie that kick starts the franchise as safely as possible because we don't want to lose money but also in a way that draws in lots and lots of new fans because hey they can do a Stargate movie and it might make us Stargate fans happy. But they need to draw in new fans if we're going to kickstart a new franchise that can really succeed. So the way to do that, bring back one of the most popular characters in Stargate's history, Ronan Dex, and bring back one of the biggest stars in Hollywood right now, Jason Momoa. Now, I actually know for a fact that Jason Momoa loved working on Stargate Atlantis. He's still really good friends with people like David Hewlett, for example, and also Joe Flanagan. These are people that he would more than happily work with again and actually has worked with very recently because David Hewlett, for example, did appear in C, a series that Jason Momoa did for Apple+. Plus. So, there is a bit of a loyalty there that if actually MGM and Amazon came to Jason Momoa and said, do you fancy doing a movie? I actually think he'd go for it. The other thing is with Jason Momoa, he actually likes really being involved in the development work, etc., like that for a big project that he's involved in. He likes, you know, getting involved in the producer role and things like this. If you give him that opportunity with a Stargate movie, a Ronan Dex movie, I think you could talk him into it. Now, this would require a bit of a bigger budget. You'd have to probably pay him about $15 million to do it. But if you were really clever, you could maybe pay him five up front and then give him a percentage following the movie's release. This is something that's been done a lot over the years. And let's be honest, Robert Downey Jr. did very well out of it when he agreed to do Iron Man. So that is something that could be done. But what sort of movie would we want to see? Well, for one, I'd like to introduce you to health and safety guy's cousin, trailer guy, for a trailer that I would love to see if this movie actually was announced. His home world destroyed, his people scattered. He made a new home on the ancient city of Atlantis, but when that was also taken, and he found himself alone once again. He knew there was only one thing to do, run and fight. Jason Momoa returns in his iconic breakthrough role, Ronan Dex, in cinemas this fall. Storyline though for this film would be quite easy. Ronan Dex was a character that's already been really fleshed out. And really, the whole thing with him versus the Wraith, the whole runner thing, would be very easy to build into a storyline. So maybe Ronan Dex has been on the Earth for a few years. He's become a little bit claustrophobic here. We already know he doesn't like small spaces. And he's decided maybe to go back and try to fight the Wraith once again. Maybe the Tauri aren't being supportive in that. And he's left us finding himself once again on his own battling the Wraith. Maybe then along the way, he does make new allies. Maybe along the way, he does find out about a threat against the Earth and have to then return to the Tauri 
and tell them what's going on, bringing them into the battle once again. I can actually see lots and lots of ways how doing a Ronan Dex movie allows us to get over some of the problems about actually reviving this series because it's not easy. There are problems we've got with reviving the Stargate series. For one, the Tauri were very, very powerful by the end of SG-1 and by the end of Atlantis. We were virtually walking with the gods and at least another decade has gone by. So where are we now? How technologically advanced are we now? What are the threats that we're going to be facing? I've always argued that I want Stargate, not Star Trek. And the whole thing with Stargate was that it was grounded in some sort of reality. The problem with where we were at the end of SG-1 and Atlantis is that we were so advanced that really we'd lost touch with all of that reality. The Ronan Deck storyline allows us to get back to basics in lots and lots of ways by still having the high concept and high value sci-fi, but also a man running in the woods with nothing more than his sidearm to protect him. So getting back to basics, I think, is actually really important for this movie. Casting it is also vitally important to make sure that we can excite non-gators that they actually want to go to the cinema to watch this movie. And that's why I think getting Jason Momoa involved would be incredibly important. But do I actually think this is even remotely likely? Well, according to the sources that I speak to, no. That actually Amazon's plan with the Stargate franchise is to start sensibly. That yes, they're going to have a straight to cinema movie, which is amazing and going to cost a lot of money. But their expectations are sensible from what I've been told that they know that this maybe is not going to be the summer blockbuster billion dollar movie but if it could get a movie that maybe made two or three hundred million dollars at the cinema that would be a massive success for Amazon and actually I think achievable so it's probably not Amazon are going to do but in my opinion it's what they should but guys, you get into the comments. Tell me what you think. Do we need a big name like Jason Momoa to appear in this movie if it's going to succeed? Or actually, is one thing that the cinema has shown us in the last few years that actually you don't need big names anymore? That actually you just need something that excites people, something a bit different, something that can attract them to the cinema. That's not necessarily just a Tom Cruise or a Jason Momoa name. And that actually lots of projects with big names that have been attached have failed miserably in recent years. So maybe we don't need it. But guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos appear first. And you get to see them without the adverts for a small contribution. You can also go to our dedicated website, sidetrack.co.uk, where you can see stores related to most of our new videos. As always, guys, please stay safe, and I'll see you next time.